Well, if you, if you backtrack even a little bit further to the year before, uh, where it was really our first year having an affiliation with anybody, um, at the time it was Orlando, uh, and we had sent some players down there in the hopes that getting more playing time, being in a competitive environment, being on the field would, would uh, produce results for us when we brought them back. And sure enough, um, you know, with Dom Dwyer coming back uh, from Orlando, he went on a goal scoring spree, which was a clear indication that, that this this process works and I think we were e equally excited this year when we could bring a player uh, John Kempen in particular um, you can also name Mikey Lopez and Kevin Ellis all three of them had major contributions to a season uh, not only here but in in Major League Soccer and uh, I believe Jonathan Kempen uh, had a few starts in the league and, and did a fantastic job Kevin Ellis was probably our best uh, central defender at the end of the year and Mikey Lopez is is in that in-between period of graduating from, from college into a, a regular uh, appearance uh, starting guy in, in Major League Soccer. And so um, we, we found this, this year to be extremely valuable, on top of it being also in a, a place where we can send our players that play in the same system, that understand what, our, uh, uh, what the requirements are by position, um, and to have that natural link between Jimmy and, and, and the rest of the staff is fantastic. When you look at um, this upcoming season, you've been down here for a couple days, kind of getting a feel for uh, some of the work that's going on here. Uh, what, what does next year really shape out like between uh, the development of some of the players here and, and some, of the, some of the guys in the big club? Well, I, I, th I think we're continually going to rely on, on Oklahoma City um, and the players that are down here. Uh, to help bring the, 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 the level uh, of the players that aren't playing on a regular basis, to bring that level up um, as much as possible. And, um, you know, obviously, I, I think on the field, Oklahoma is going to try to improve uh, their performance on the field, just like sporting will try to improve performance on the field. But we feel that we have a group together between Oklahoma City, Sporting Kansas City, and Fluminense. We have enough talent in the pipeline, if you will. Uh, that will give us an opportunity to have success in all three arenas. When you look at Jimmy in his first year as a head coach, obviously he made a very quick transition from player to head coach. What kind of uh, advice did you and Peter maybe talk to him about about making that transition and uh, how was that transition kind of in your eyes based on last year? There was no doubt in my mind um, when we first brought Jimmy into what was then the Kansas City Wizards that he had a tremendous uh, innate ability to lead. Um, and that, that quality has quickly been recognized, I think, um, in Oklahoma City and the way that he's taken, taken the reins of, of, a, of a group that uh, he's put together in fantastic fashion and, and, and he's been a tremendous leader. And that, that quality that he had as a player, uh, the competitiveness, the willingness to uh, sacrifice, the, the, the desire to win, the commitment to excellence, all these sayings that you, you talk about that you want within a, a leader uh, Jimmy possesses and so there's not a lot that you can really give to a coach uh, as he's starting his first uh, first season coming off as a player uh, you kind of have to jump right into the fire but I think in Jimmy's case he's done an outstanding job uh, of, of accounting himself very well.